greetings greetings viewers and subscribers so do you remember this video That video, it was of a lady who was burnt. Her name, Miss Nicola Clark. She was set ablaze, allegedly, by her boyfriend. We have some updates in this matter. We are also gonna tell you exclusively how he was arrested. You remember that he was arrested at the hospital, the Savlamar Hospital? We are going to give you some details. You are not going to want to miss it. But in today's journey, we will be traveling from Little London Square. We will be heading to Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. We will be passing areas like Top Road. We will be passing a little district that is called One Stick. We will then be traveling through Alma to Mount Eagle. Then we are going to go through Causeway onto Grange Hill. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, we'd like to extend sincere condolences to the family and friends as also the staff of Mrs. Licia Samuels. Mrs. Samuels, both she and her husband, they operated the Ruby's gas station. One is based in Savlamar and the other one is based in Negril. There are some conflicting reports, but so far the information we are getting is that Mrs. Samuel's death has something to do with the coronavirus. We are seeing some comments, but we are not gonna go into those comments. However, it is confirmed that her passing has something to do with the coronavirus. Mrs. Samuels, she was a nice, fun-loving lady. And we'd like to take time out again to wish her family and her friends condolences. May Lisa's soul rest in peace. The lady you are seeing on your screen, her name is Miss Keshondra Davis. K A I. S H U N D R A Davis. Miss Davis, she was a notary public. She had a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a master's in business administration and accounting. Miss Davis, she lived in Florida in the United States of America. Miss Davis, she was diabetic. She arrived in Jamaica on Wednesday, August 11, 2021. She checked in at the Hedonism 2 Hotel in Negril. On Friday, August 13, 2021, Miss Davis, she became ill. Based on the symptoms, a COVID-19 test was done. It was confirmed that Miss Davis, she had the coronavirus. She was placed in quarantine at the hotel and whilst in quarantine, she was visited by a medical doctor. Our information is that the doctor, they advised her that it's best she goes to a hospital. However, Miss Davis, she refused to leave the hotel. Another test was done and it was confirmed that indeed she had COVID-19. Miss Davis, she was still at the hotel and on the saturday august 14 2021 our information is that miss davis her condition her medical condition deteriorated she was again advised that she need to go to a hospital she tell them no i ain't going to no hospital the management for hedonism too they gave miss davis a document 
asking that she sign it based on the fact that she was refusing to go to the hospital. This document, we are told, is a refusal to be hospitalized form. Miss Davis, she signed the document because she was adamant that she was not going to any hospital. On Monday, August 16, 2021, Miss Davis, she was found unresponsive on the floor in the hotel room that she was staying. She eventually became responsive. She told the persons who were attending to her that she felt a bit dizzy but would visit the hospital later in the day. About two hours later, we are told that Miss Davis, she indicated that she wished to go to the hospital as her condition, her medical condition, was getting worse. As a result, Miss Davis, she was transferred to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy. By this time, Miss Davis, she was in a bad state. So on Saturday, the 21st of August, 2021, Miss Davis, she was transferred to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. But on Monday, August 23rd, 2021, Miss Davis, she died in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. If only Miss Davis had listened. If only she wasn't so adamant that she's not going to the hospital. Maybe, just maybe, she would be oxygenated and maybe her life would be spared. Ladies and gentlemen, my viewers, my subscribers, this coronavirus is no joke. If by now you don't take it serious, I am sorry for you. I have seen many persons, lots of persons. It was when they were on their hospital bed, they started expressing remorse, expressing regret that what they should have done, they didn't do it. I am still saying, I will not be imposing on you to take the vaccine. It's still not mandatory, but I would wish that you take it. I'm not going to be debating this with anyone because the choice is still yours. Like I said, I have taken it. I would wish that you go and take it. Ensure that you are following the safety protocols. I've seen some people writing stupidness about coronavirus no real and one bag of conspiracy theory. I won't even go into that. I know of persons who this virus has taken away from us. Please, don't be one of them. Do what you must to protect your family. Now, yesterday, Monday, August 23rd, 2021, somebody contacted us and they told us that the man you are seeing on your screen, his name is Oren Tate. He is popularly called Parker. He is from Shrewsbury Lagood in the Petersfield area in the parish of Westmoreland. But Parker, he was living at Prospect in Ocherias in the parish of Sentan. Parker, he is 33 years old, dark complexion and was about 5 feet 8 inches tall. We are told that last week was the last time Parker was seen alive. He was seen at his house in Ocherias. As a result, a missing person report was filed at the Ocherias police station. We are told that Parker, he was the owner for a motor car. Over the weekend, a guy was found driving this motor car in the parish of Portland. This guy, he was taken into custody by the police and the car was also seized. We are told that the police, they did some forensic investigation on this motor car. But the guy who was held, our information is that he's not giving the police any information. Now, yesterday, Monday the 23rd of August 2021, we are told that the decomposing body of a man was found in Portland. By all indication, 
this body is that of Parker. We are told that family members, they have gone to Portland or should be going to Portland today. We have seen video footage of this body and it was in an advanced state of decomposition. However, if the body is that of Parker, we are sure that the security forces, they can do the checks and balances to ascertain whether or not it is so. But based on the report we are getting, it is suspected, highly suspected, that this is the body of Mr. Oren Tate, otherwise called Parker. If and when there is more information, we will be updating this story. Now, if you are here and you are watching our video, if you have not yet smashed on the like button, smash it now. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that you will be notified as soon as we have uploaded a new video. We are moving on to 28,000 subscribers. Be a part of that 28,000. And for those who have been subscribing, for those who have been liking our videos, for those who have been sharing our videos, for those who have been telling a friend to tell a friend, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. The work, it has just begun. We are here to inform you and we are here to educate you. Now, on Wednesday, the 19th of May, 2021, we got this video in the evening. The video, it is too graphic to show on YouTube. But in the video, we saw a shop being burnt. And we saw a lady, the clothes that she had on, it was completely burnt off her. When the persons were asking her what happened, she told them, you could hear it in the video, that it was Emran who burned her up. The lady, she was identified as Miss Nicola Clark and she lived in Hanover. Well, this incident, it took place at Great River in the parish of Hanover. Nicola, it is alleged that she was selling in the shop when she and her boyfriend, Imran Pilina, both of them were in the shop. It is said that an argument developed. And based on the allegation, because this case is now in the court, so we have to be careful what we are saying. So please bear with me. Based on the allegation, it is said that Emran, he threw gas on the shop and set it ablaze. Nicola, she was badly burnt. She was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where she was admitted in a serious condition. Nicola, she was burnt beyond recognition. There is no burn unit in Jamaica. So, an organization, they decided to help. As a result, Nicola, she was flown to Augusta, Georgia on Thursday, May 27th, 2021. On arrival at Augusta, Georgia, she was taken to the JMS Burn Center at Doctor's Hospital in Georgia. She was admitted from then and was being treated. Her trip to the United States, it was made possible by the San Myrna Foundation, which is based in Jamaica. Nicola, sad to say, but she died on the weekend. Here are some information that was never heard before. On the day in question, Wednesday, May 19th, our information is that her boyfriend, Emran, he's otherwise called Tyrant, but to us, he's Emran the Tyrant. On the same day, 
Wednesday, May 19th. Emran the tyrant, after he committed or allegedly committed that act, we are told that he called a friend. The friend took him to the Savlamar Hospital. He went in. Well, Emran the tyrant, he had 60 degree burns. He was badly burnt also. When he went inside of the hospital and was being treated, it is said that Emran, when the doctors asked him what caused the burn, he told them that he was burning garbage at his house and that's how he was burnt. The doctors asked him, how comes? He said because he used gasoline to light the garbage. The doctors asked him, so why you had to use gasoline and not kerosene like most persons do? He told them that he didn't have any kerosene. As a result, he used gasoline. Emran was at the hospital. The Savlamar hospital is not equipped. Well, no hospital is. But in Western Jamaica, when most persons are burnt, they are normally sent to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. So the doctors, they were making arrangement to send Emran the Tyrant to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Our information is that Emran, he checked himself out of the hospital. He signed himself out because we are told that he didn't want to go to Montego Bay. Reason being, he knew that's where Nicola was admitted. And right away, his cover would be blown. We are also told that on the said day when he went to the hospital, Wednesday the 19th, he registered under a fictitious name. So, Emran the tyrant, he left and went about his business. Saturday, the 22nd of May, 2021, Emran the tyrant, he came back to the Savlamar Hospital because the burns burn on something for you play with you know burns are not easily treated at home so the burns he had because he was badly burnt also but not as badly burnt as Nicola the burns Emran the tyrant had started turning sores on him so he had to come back to the Savlamar Hospital because he knew that he would be transferred to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, he decided to level up with the doctor. He told the doctors his correct name. He also told them that it wasn't rubbish that caused the burn on his body. It was his girlfriend who had burnt him up. Yes, Emran, the tyrant, he told the doctors at the Savlamar Hospital that it was his girlfriend who had thrown gasoline on him and burned him up. He also told them that they should call the police. As a result, the police were called in and after the doctors finished treating him at the Savlamar Hospital, Emran the tyrant, he was taken into police custody. We are not sure whether or not he was transferred or if he was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. but. Our information is that since then, he has been in police custody. He was charged for, I'm not sure if it's attempted murder or wounding with intent, but I know he was also charged for arson, for burning down the shop. So now, whatever charge he was charged for, if he was charged for wounding with intent or attempted murder, those charges will have to be dropped. The indictment that he's charged on, will have to be amended so he will now be facing a charge of murder persons in great river this is my request of you i am sure that what emran told the doctors at the savlamar hospital i am sure that is also what he told the police you the residents who have the information I am not sure whether or not you had given the police a statement. If you did, please may I beg you know, go to court, give evidence. Because if you have the information, 
and based on the information you have you concluded that it was Emran who set the shop afire and if you don't go to court Emran the tyrant will be a free man and then you see him one is gonna start cursing and saying there's no justice in Jamaica but justice can only come when we do what we are supposed to do so if you were there on that day or if Nicole told you what happened that is sufficient you are now a witness if you didn't give the police a statement you need to give the police a statement and you need to follow that up by going to the court Imran the tyrant he is still innocent until he is proven guilty in a court of law we are not trying his case he is saying that it was Nicole who set him afire or Nicole who light the fire Nicole in the video you could hear her saying that it was Emran who set the shop afire resulting in she being burnt you the residents of Great River please may I beg you now do what you must <laughs> Blessed love, everybody.